comes to power, Hashirama Senju seems to be the one character who was out of everyone's league until Six Paths Enhanced character appeared. He seemed unparalleled in strength, especially after Madara's fake death. But despite that, he still died in a battle. Who, when, and how did Hashirama Senju die? This is the topic I will talk about today. But before starting, I want to ask you all to like this video and subscribe this channel for more. I hope all of you have a great day and let's start the video! Well, Hashirama Senju was the first Hokage of the Hidden Leaf. He was famed as the strongest shinobi of his era and one of the strongest in history, reputed as a god of shinobi. Madara, another legendary shinobi, openly admitted inferiority to Hashirama throughout their entire lifetime together, even with the eternal Mangekyo Sharingan and the Ninetales at his disposal. Through his unique powers, Hashirama had been able to subdue and capture 8 of the 9 free-roaming tailed beasts on his own. During the 4th Shinobi World War, Kabuto proclaimed that the man's might as a ninja was so vast that it was held in a fantasy light similar to the Sage of Six Paths, stating that no one, aside from Madara, had come close to matching him ever since his passing. In his lifetime, he had a lot of legendary battles. The most popular one was against Madara Uchiha, one of the strongest ninja in history. Many of you probably did not know, but he has also fought and defeated every tailed beast on his own. As you can see, he was leagues above anyone else during his lifetime, and it is very interesting when and how was he defeated. It is also interesting that Hashirama Senju had encountered Kakuzu sometime in the past. It seems he had seen him fighting, otherwise he would not know his wood style techniques. Many people think that Kakuzu is the one who killed the first Okage, but it is not true. The reason why Kakuzu is the rogue is because of Hashirama in the first place. In the third Naruto data book, it is written that after his mission to assassinate the first Okage ended in failure, Kakuzu was treated with dishonor and disgrace, which made him angry about the way he was treated after risking his life for the village on an impossible mission. Kakuzu escapes from prison and takes with him the village's most precious forbidden jutsu, Earth Grudge Fear, which transforms the user's body into something similar to that of a ragdoll, held together by hundreds of thick black threads. Also, he said that he had faced Hashirama, not defeated. But how did Hashirama Senju die? Well, many people think that he died with old age because of this scene right here. However, that screen is fake. It is badly edited. It is taken from Naruto Shippuden episode 351. In the real episode, Hiruzen has not mentioned a single word about his death. You could also argue that he died from an old age, but I don't think this is a case here. We know that ninjas are reanimated in the physical state they were in when they died. That's the reason why Hiruzen and Chio were reanimated as old and Nagato was reanimated emaciated with silver hair. You could argue that Madara, despite dying in very old age, was still reanimated young and the reason of that is that Kabuto told Madara that his Edo Tensei was special. He modified his body to look younger than he was at the time of his death. But we cannot see the same case with Hashirama. If Orochimaru revived Hashirama in his prime, why would not he do the same for his teacher? Would not Prime Hiruzen also come in handy? Also, when Hashirama Senju was reanimated, we can see that one of the shoulder plates of his armor is destroyed, which I think confirms that he was fighting before dying. But when could have Hashirama Senju die? In the first Naruto data book, it is written that going back about 60 years from now, a shinobi with excelling power collected a great number of shinobi and established a new village. This shinobi was the first Hokage, the founder of the Hidden Leaf Village. However, this was a time when the world was at war. At the same time the village began to flourish, he lost his life. With the last sentence, it is more than clear that the author of the series justified the end of Hashirama by saying that he fell in combat. But the truth is that at that time, Hashirama had not been developed in the way it was in Naruto Shippuden. However, it is the only official data we have. And, above all, it is something that the creator of the series himself said. Beside that, in Naruto chapter 158, Tsunade also says the following. They say that both, my grandfather and the second lord wanted an end to hostiles more than anything, and yet in the end, they died in vain for the village, while still in the midst of pursuing their dreams. This statement of Tsunade also confirms that Hashirama, just like his brother, died for the village. Tobirama's data from the first Naruto data book also brings interesting information. It says that the first Hokage's younger brother, who laid the foundation stone of the present village, 
through his tremendous leadership. The second is the first younger brother by blood, who inherited his brother's dying wish and was called Hokage after the first died. He endeavored in the founding of the academy and the establishment of the village's organizational system. However, shortly thereafter the Shinobi World War broke out, he entrusted the wishes of the suppression of war and the prospering of the village to his successor and died a noble death. With this information, the theory that Hashirama died as old fails, since Kishimoto clearly says that Tobirama became Hokage when Hashirama asked him in his last moments of life. So apparently, he was seriously injured in combat, but who could injure the god of Shinobi, who was arguably in his prime years? I can only think of other Kages. But why would they do that? Did not Hashirama help them by giving them tailed beasts? Well, we know that during the first Shinobi World War, the first ever Kage summit was convened in an unknown location by the first Hokage. In an attempt to balance the power between the villages and as a sign of goodwill, Konohagakure intended to distribute the tailed beasts it had acquired to the other villages. However, Hashirama's distribution of the tailed beasts was chaos because the villages couldn't control the beasts and it made a mess. So even though Hashirama delivered them without any bad intention, the Kage may have thought that he did it to destabilize their nation. And I think the most logical thing is that the nations decided to unite and ambush Hashirama in a meeting, while catching him off guard or something like that, because the truth is, I can hardly believe that someone alone has eliminated him. And because we are talking about Hashirama, who is approximately 35 to 40 years old, it seems he died in the first Shinobi World War since the first Kage meeting was held in that war, as well as death of the second Hokage, who became the village leader after Hashirama's death. There is also a possibility that Hashirama could be killed by Ishiki or Jigen. Well, he could be perfect vessel for him and Jigen was definitely alive by the time of Hashirama Senju, since we know that he is alive since Kaguya Utsutsuki for thousands of years. As far as I like the theory of Hashirama being killed by Jigen, I don't think this is a case here since he would not say something about a man, who killed him when he was revived, but did not say a single word, which makes me think that this theory could not be true. I guess this is all for today. Thanks for watching. Astro Jack out. Bye.